Baltimore has made great progress. We have a long way to go. You heard me, I'm the first to admit we have a long way to go. Commissioner Michael Harrison agreeing with the federal judge's assessment. Baltimore police are making substantial progress in reforming the department. During a review hearing on the federal consent decree, the commissioner talked about the increase in violent crime. He also talked about the hiring and sudden firing of a police department civilian employee. What happened, happened. It was brought to our attention. Uh, it was missed because of technology and of course you need there's a human element to work with technology. Police say Dana Hayes, who worked as the chief of fiscal services in the department, is a person of interest in a homicide investigation. There's a human part to work with the technology. Once it was brought to our attention, what you saw is swift, decisive, strong action taken by terminating that, that individual. The judge overseeing the consent decree continues to be concerned about police recruiting, hiring, and retaining officers. The judge acknowledged it is a nationwide problem, but called the staffing issue for BPD the largest impediment in getting the city into full compliance. He also mentioned his frustration with how the department gets portrayed. The media's focus on past problems, including the gun trace task force scandal. He wondered where is the attention on progress and told the city it has the responsibility to get out the story. It actually falls on the city to promote the truth, the positive elements, he said. In general, things are going well, quite well. It's got to go beyond this courtroom. The transformation of the police department is being seen in the field. Officers are performing better. You're seeing more work being done. You're seeing less force, fewer complaints, better investigative processes. And the judge also wondered how to show actual reform, the redefinition and rebranding of the Baltimore City Police Department. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.